Hi everyone, uh, Melinda here, and today I would like to bring to everybody's awareness a seriously overlooked, potentially catastrophic issue that we all can relate to, no matter which side of the fence you sit on with the heart of the matter at hand. But first, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hopefully this can get to the proper third of viewers before it's too late. Um, so we all have been informed of effective templates uh, for do-it-yourself face masks. Uh, visually learned directly from the CDC Gov website itself. Uh, according to the health officials on the CDC website, cut out, you know, 10 by 6 inch uh, rectangles, multiple of them, um, to fold into fabric uh, such as court, uh, quilting fabric or cotton sheets or a t-shirt fabric. And if from the CDC, if not from the CDC, there's also plenty of videos on YouTube. Now, as seen here, formaldehyde is a known respiratory and scared irritant that is sometimes used to make clothes wrinkle resistant. Uh, phthalates are endo endocrine disruptors that have been used to make fashion that incorporates plastic like shoes and gloves in the decorative printing process. Now, I'm not saying that everybody's going to make the exact same face mask, but that's pretty generic, I guess, it turns out. Um, so, it turns out, you know, published by almost all major news broadcasting stations for the last seven months they've been saying to make do-it-yourself face masks out of clothing particles you know like different pieces of fabric and not getting specific but what they are failing to provide is the serious health risks and known diseases that are regularly reported from inhalation of toxic chemicals on the fabrics most used in face masks such as uh, formaldehyde right here it's it's this is coming from this is being quoted from the cdc.gov website so now, not uh, it, not only does it have formaldehyde, it's got volatile organic compounds, uh, perfluorated uh, chemicals, ammonia, and other toxic and harmful chemical compounds, according to the Environmental Science and Pollution Research International.gov website. Chemicals from the textiles to skin, such as benzothiazole, and its derivatives are available on the clothing in the retail market today. Uh, after 24 hours exposed to the skin, up to 62% of benzothiazole was found in accelerator or acceptor membrane cells in the sinus to, and found to be the most absorbent of vulnerable receptors. So, um, you know, when you add that with the fact that the contact dermatitis society says rayon blended cotton and 100% cotton carry formaldehyde, this is seriously concerning because this can cause cancer. Now, all this is not taking into consideration the fact that, um, that it says, and that's not in consideration, the clothing does not generally cover your nose and or mouth with such direct contact for any length of time. Um, how many hours do you find yourself wearing a face mask throughout today? Do you have to wear one um, at work? Do you have to wear one when you're going out? Do you have to wear one when you're taking your kids somewhere? What do you... What's your experiences? You know, please comment and share and spread this word very quickly before we end up paying the consequences with our life. I'm serious. This is not a joke. This is, this has got to be the worst overlooked mistake I've ever seen in my life. So I just, I really wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, feel free to share and help prevent unnecessary spread of advice that is proven by the government to cause uh, recordably cancer. Uh, thank y'all. Have a great day. Hope it's better than that.